Welcome back everyone to Old World Blues. I'm your host, Mr. McClover. And right now, some strange signs. When experimenting with the controls of the steam, our technicians set foot in some areas we never found previously, for some reason. These areas weren't as obstructed as one might think, and we found some devices we never found before, but although they aren't a pre-war tech, they were very advanced. Is there more to the steam than we had originally thought? Odd. And we lose 2% stability, and we have no war support. Also, we have the followers of the apocalypse here, and their influence, of course. I think that happened last episode. I'll be honest. Um, I'm recording this at the end of the day, because I want to get all of your comments in to this video. So, at the time it's recording, there's a total of at least 60 comments, which actually might be the most comments I've ever received on a single video. I've said something like that before, but, like, bruh, that's a lot of comments. Like, 60? Hopefully there will be a day when I look at a video at the end of the day and be like, wow, there's 100 comments, but now 60? Like, oh my goodness, holy cow, that's a lot. So, so thank you to everyone who's commented, and everyone else who's liked the video, and you know, come check me out a little bit. So, I'm going to give us another day, and let's do hit and run as well, because we can, and then we'll do some walking tanks. I love walking tanks, and let us do another focus before we get to too many more comments. Now, we can do this stuff, but we'll wait for all the stuff at the end of the campaign, probably. Let's go ahead and do, oh, what do we want to do? The God, I, I kind of want to just go ahead and do like the purge and stuff. Actually, yeah, I would probably, but I'm gonna go with the leader. I want to get that weekly stability for now. Yeah, I think it'll be good. St. Michael, I was in a country for more than just a few years now. And he's proven to be one of the most, f one of the few untouched by the whispers of corruption and megalomania. We have to ensure that he will put up with the changes we have made. We only lose 0.8 more political power. That is all. That is all, that's all we lose, just slightly more. So, okay, let's get to, to it. So, I asked you guys yesterday in the last video, with the council, who should we choose? Should we choose the Archangel or the rule of the people? Now, because there's two paths here, I will play as Heaven's Gate again one more time, at least in this mod, as long as it continues getting developed and being worked on by the mod developer, which I'm probably is going to happen because some of these focuses, as we discovered yesterday, they weren't quite, well, completely finished, and that's okay. Things are always in progress, I understand. But there's a lot of support for both sides. There is quite a bit more support for both sides, realistically. So, overall, however, there is a little bit more support for one side, and that side is going to be the Archangel. It's just, a, like, one or two more votes ahead at the time it's recording. That's why I waited to the end of the day to get your votes tallied, and we're going to go down the Archangel path, in which someone, or actually a few people said, that the Archangel path is more like the Vengeance path for with the Rifle Ayahs of God, while the Rule of the People path that is more like asking for forgiveness, yeah, with forgive us versus the rightful heirs, the sinners of High Chapel, mercy for the sinners, so that makes sense. And then we're gonna enjoy it. And we make sure we get some recycling. Actually, ooh, how far are we done with this? Oh, that's pretty far down. I like that. Let's go grab some additional plating. And our next focus with a prophet. Oh, how much political power do we get right now? Oh, that's not much. That's really not much. Hmm. I want that weekly stability though. Ooh, we could probably wait a little bit. We won't get that much political power, but do we really need that much political power? Nah, I'll do the guard just in case. Have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be frightened, and do not be dismayed. For the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. Joshua 1 9. A strong contingent of brothers and sisters will form the God of our nation, protecting the will of God himself. And we do have nine armies, too, which is pretty nice. Alright, so. Uh, one of the comments said in the last video that we should grab one of these dudes. Well, at least one of these dudes. Uh, I forget... Oh, never mind. I re remember exactly who we wanted. So, it was recommended that we choose out of all five of these people that we shall choose these two, which includes His Grace Martin as well as the Frontline Operative. So, we'll get more attack and defense and then more reconnaissance and encryption, which will be, as some might say, quite bueno. Uh, additionally, what else do we have here? We could probably raise the conscription level. We actually might consider, I might consider doing that. But just in case, let's go ahead and grab Bring Your Civilization. It gives us slightly more max planning, which I'm totally okay with. And six research slots. I mean, that's so nice, man. That is just so nice. Uh, maintenance companies. Uh, I'm not sure if that's really worth it. Healing powder is pretty good, usually. Let time go on. Get some better goods. Priesthood, sidearm. Can you imagine if you go down to your local church or, you know, you know, religious place of worship and just, like, the pastor, the priest, he's just, he's just packing heat. Like, he's got, like, pistols all over his body. They, you can't see them, but he's just, like, loaded with guns and such. That'd be really cool. I wonder, do they have guns in church? Some churches do. Some churches do. Anyways, uh, let's see. Other comments. 
No, someone recommended that I do go down both routes with Archangel versus the people, which we will. I promise you that we will go down that way. Uh, just obviously, we got to do another campaign to get down there. So, and I got to choose a con Confessor with Niels Nelson. But I'm going to wait to get that war support. I want to get like 70, 80 percent war support before I click on that one, since we do get some more goals in our focus tree. If you'd like to read about Volto Shock Market, please go right ahead. But we're just going to go up with some maybe some oversight. Additionally, infrastructure infrastructure is pretty good. Outpost, medical, uh, support companies, robots. We gotta go with the greaser since we're going down the power armor path. Oh, conscripting more men. Oh, do we want more men or organization recovery rate and reinforce rate? Ooh, wardens. You know what? I think for this one, remind me in the future when we do the rule of the people that I will do conscripting more men. Because more being more democratic means we want to include more people in our military, right? So let's go with only the best, which unfortunately doesn't have a description, but that's okay. Which, which will make our divisions even stronger, especially our power armor. Other comments. Uh, I asked you yesterday whether we should use special forces or power armor. And by gosh, because I'm not going to take the Lord's name in vain in this episode, even though I probably will later on. There is absolute overwhelming support for us to use Crusader power armor. Space Marines. So we will be using power armor. There's one guy who left a comment saying that we should use a mixture of both. Which is cool, but like, holy cow, like, I tallied it at 1, 2, 3, 4, tw there's at least 21 votes for me to use power armor, so. And not that much for special forces, so. Power armor is the way of the future. The steamy power armor divisions. And you guys are 10 combat with. Uh, uh, not bad. But obviously, actually, you know what? I'm gonna make only two for now. Let's make only two. Just because we're gonna make these guys even larger and thicker. Because, well, if they're not large and thick, I don't want them around me. Uh, let's grab some radio. Very, very nice. Oh, let's see, we went over that. Someone actually said that if there's like a Catholic or Protestant route we can go down, choose a Catholic route. I mean, I'm not sure if it's going to be that specific for in terms of de de denominations. I mean, if someone recommended that, sure, why not? I don't mind doing that, but we'll see. We'll see. I'm not really sure. Uh, let's see. So, also, someone else asked, why do I upload so early? So, it depends on where you're at in the world. Not everyone who's watching my videos are, is from America. I have a small percentage from the UK. I have even smaller percentages all around the rest of the world, like maybe Turkey, Ukraine, Russia, Germany, uh, Canada, technically. Uh, you know, all across the world. And I upload every day at 6 a.m. EST. Why do I upload at that time? Because usually, at least in my mind, I think that is the beginning of the next day. Sure, midnight supposed to be is, but whatever. I think 6 a.m. is really the start date. But anyway, steam armies. Oh, oh, we get more population anyways. And more attack, and more defense, and more recovery rate. I mean, yeah. Bring it on. Bring it on. Awesome. But yeah, 6 a.m. EST. Anything before 6 a.m. in my mind is just like part of the next day. Then again, I don't get up that early. I never get up at 6 a.m. Even though I'm trying to get up earlier and earlier. Let's see. So I want to come in. I also asked you guys yesterday whether I should... Whether we, not I, but we should use... Uh energy weapons or lasers versus ballistics versus melee weaponry and there was one comment saying specifically do not use melee equipment because it just would kill the vibe with the technology we have even though I kind of like the steam saws even though I don't think it's, yeah that's not really a steam saw but but with that question I asked you guys for, the, for this there is once again overwhelming support for us to use lasers with Archangel's Fury and the Demon Slayer which honestly does look really, really cool and sounds awesome. So, but then again, that's not a demon slayer, man. That's that's like a wrench. Like, bruh. That's not even a crusader cudgel. <laughs> it is what it is, you know. The mod's still in development. I think this happened even in the base game, so. It's totally fine. Let's grab some light white metals, shall we? And then after some simple sick of three, we might go with that. But let's go ahead and do some steam armies. Now, we're currently like 87%. That's nice. Let's do our scavengers. Crusades can't be won with the word of God alone for the faithless, or the, for the faithless shall not hear us. Scavenging pre-war miracle will provide us with a superior understanding of a weaponry. Uh, America and her weapons. What could be better than that? Nice. And, yeah, we really don't get a lot of political power. Point two. Wow, five. Holy cow. But, let's spend it for more money. Because... God would like us to not necessarily be wealthy, but to take care of ourselves and others with the wealth that we have generated. There we go. That's how you say it. And let's ask the followers to help settlements, which sounds great to me. Oh, God, 0.25 is not very much at all. Anyways, <clears throat> let's see. Yep, I already talked about the ministers. Someone recommended that we should use this dude and this dude. 
for our uh, ministry. So, yes, we're going to call it our ministry. We're not going to call it our war goals. We're not going to call it our uh, war path. It's our ministry, our heavenly crusader ministry. And as someone said in the comments, for me to not forget, purity? Well, actually, purity. Hmm. What? Well, you know what? Usually I use, only use this for the Enclave. Principle? Is it better to be a principled Christian or a pure Christian? We like purity because we don't like sin. I think I might just go purity. We only like the pure here. There's a lot of sinners and we need to purify or purge the wastelands of uh, a lot of sin. We'll put it like that. Yeah, I'll put it like that. Stockpiles. Great description once again. So, as I almost forgot earlier, like what I was literally just saying before I started talking about pure pure religion and pure pure stuffs. So, when I, apparently I said in the past, always remind me to put this thing into our garrison divisions. And that is dogs. So, I've not even remembered to put that in. Because I forget every campaign, apparently. Because I really do forget. Like, don't like you don't even ask me to, to, like, don't remind me. I don't even know. Remind me, please. Words are hard. And like I said, I'm recording this at night, so we'll see what happens. But, yeah. Usually, I forget to change stuff around. Oh, we're looking pretty good on all this stuff, actually. Uh, land doctrines coming along. Specialized doctrines. Well, we don't even have special forces, but let's make them better. And usually, because we can't click on the occupied territories, I never remember to put... Or I usually don't remember to go to West End Pacification instead of what is normally there, which is usually local caravan guards or something like that. So, cool. Uh, there goes Lanius, and we'll see. Oh yeah, and thank you. I said this in the, the, the last video. Thank you to the person for posting what the Bible verses were in the comments below. I have pinned your comment in for the last video, so thank you very much. And I've hearted it, I believe, as well. So thank you. I said I would, you know, pin it if you, someone put it down. So thank you once again. And we shall do efficient manufacturing, ten percent cheaper, or send out more scavengers. Uh, now, it's not bad. We get the, what we need. Or do we just, it says it would be 10% cheaper to build. So I want to try that, maybe? Yeah, well, mm hmm. You know what, I think we'll do that in one next time because that means like we want, we need more guns for the bodies. It's gonna more scavengers. Sounds like we want to be more aggressive, maybe. So let's do that one. I only like wince at this one just because it says it'll be cheaper. It doesn't mean it might, will be. I don't know if it's in the game that'll make it cheaper or not. So to me, that just seems a little sus, 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 suspect. But, I could be completely wrong about that. Lightweight metals, not bad. Let's grab some monoplane fires, even though it's just barely ahead of time. Cool. I think that was most of the comments from yesterday. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, we have the Holy Hand Grenade as well, which we'll get grenades. Let's see. Yeah. Cool. I think that, I think that's it. I think hit most of them. Yep. Frequency analysis. Uh, I got 13 days left for that one, and then after field maintenance, let's come over to here and grab some backyard workshops because we can still use more weaponry. But happy 2278, everyone! Hope you're having a great, great year. We still have no <laughs> war support, which oh my goodness, that's not good. But hey, 93% stability is not bad. That's good. There's a lot of time to build up our army, which is full of divisions. Look at that. Send up more scavengers. And Air Crusades, just because I want to try to get to 100%. So, but, they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall wa walk and not faint. With a newfound knowledge in the field of aeroplanes, we shall bolster our fighting strength arena. And actually, what, oh, how thick are divisions? Clergy are, okay, no, that's not good enough. Alright, so here's what we gotta do. Clergyman. New General. Steam Maiden Mira. Oopsie, my bad. There you go. Do we have them? We got them. Uh, frequency analysis. Let's go with polyalphabetic ciphers. Very, very good. Now you're someone else and new and different. Field Marshal. Going to need two more generals. Father Hughes he's, has a fast metabolism. Perceptive. He's a pal. And lucky. Bunker kit. More max entrenchment. Oh, the experience gain. Camera line. My goodness. Redempt Redemptor Walker. Oh, he's skilled though, too, so. Ooh, charismatic. What does charismatic do? Is that what something I want? But of leader or pal? P. So observant leader A. Agile. So nimble leader. 
L, lucky fortunate leader. I'll go this guy. Father Hughes shall be the commander of the field marshal, really. In which we shall choose what? Anyone up here that I really care about? So we're gonna go with power armor. Yeah, idiot savant's not bad, but mysterious stranger is so good to get. I like that one a little bit more. Complicated circuitry. Refined to tools. And then let's grab Redemptor Walker. And he's inspirational, which is not bad, which will help out. So that basically negates the Bunker Kid's leader experience gain. We still get less entrenchment speed, which is fine. Less planning speed, I don't care about. We get more planning, which is nice, and more max entrenchment. So it's actually not too bad, Bunker Kid. It could be a lot worse. Camera line is god-awful. So basically, we actually end up losing 5% leader experience gain and planning speed even more. Oh, don't do drugs, kids. Or anyone, really. Learning to fly. I like it. Actually, I should probably should have done the war support one instead. Just because we could honestly use more war support, but hey, whatever. It is what it is. There you go. Hey, we still got 1,500 guns. I'm glad we got that 2,500 gun one, which actually was pretty nice for us. Up next, 21 days. Oh, so we got enough time then. So we'll be floating through the sky, in which we will get our aircraft 5% more air attack and 5% more agility. Not two batterinos. So then after this one, then we'll go ahead and choose the other focus, which... With, with a profit. Actually, you know what? I'm going to probably do the begin the purge first. Just so we can start working a little bit more. Slightly more on the weekly war support. I think that would be worth it. Right, but let's, let's grab... Just go and grab the one. I don't care. Five days left. How are we doing with our factories? Okay, 15 and 6. 15 and 7. Not bad. Not bad. Three more days left. Not too bad. And like angels in the sky. You know what? We're going to wait. I'm, so, I'm just going to go with... Uh, a profit. Say, Michael. No, I'm doing the begin the purge. It's time to declare our ranks of obsolete idiots who inhabit some of the seats in our covenant. We need competent people, not only people who look good. Well, hey, man, they look good. What, what do you want me to say? They look real good. The Lord said, let there be good looking people. But so by doing this, we're going to lose 0.5 political power every day. We'll get more weekly wars, but then I'll, imme I'll immediately choose a profit. St. Michael is also one of our greatest demagogues and has been called a new prophet multiple times. Let's use the people's faith in him to ensure stability and loyalty. So we get plus 1.1 political power, slightly more recruitable population, and weekly stability. Right now, where are we at? The Age of Steam is really nice. So monoplane fighters are very bueno. More monoplane attackers because the Lord said, let there be monoplane attackers. And we like purity here in awe. Uh, Lands. Uh, air superiority, supply base. Uh, we're not really making transport helicopters. Maybe I should make some transport helicopters. That might make it a little more interesting. Literally flying down from heaven like angels actually would make be extremely fitting for this nation that we're playing as. That's not a bad... You know, I should do that. We should do that, right? We should probably make flying angels. And by flying angels, I mean power armor that's going to rip and shred through enemies. Hopefully. Especially with, you know, close air support. Oh, 0.35. And then we shall do a profit. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Still getting a good amount of money. Provide power on the scavengers. We could try it. Not bad. Really not bad at all. And you guys. Um, I'm not sure where their armies are at. But we'll start off pretty easy. In which you'll go, wee! Exactly with that exact sound. So Backyard workshops are pretty nice. Let's grab some irrigation. Thank you. And we have 26 days left. So that's okay. After the profit. I want to spend a little bit more time trying to get some more... Uh, War support. So then we'll do floating through the sky, probably. Building the roads takes a while. Oh, look at that manpower. Not real bueno, some might say. But I do want to get to the council as fast as possible. We lose stability, get more war support, which is nice. And you get more data than political power. Well, losing 0.64. You know what? We'll do floating through the sky just because. Excuse me. That would be beneficial. And we can get more political power and more war support. Because even at peace, we're not even at war. We're still at peace, and we have none. Oh man, that hurts your mobilization speed by 50%. Their surrender limit goes down by 30%. Daily command multiplier gain by 95%. Wow. Sorry, I'm getting weird at, at, at late late at night. Isaiah, of course, Genesis. Oh, refined tools, very good. So hopefully, my plan, by taking this long, we should be able to do okay. When we start, just start attacking. We should be able to do okay. Maybe we won't do perfectly. Oh, we have planes. <gasps> planes for the Lord. Yes. 
Very good. And the next technology shall be done hopefully pretty soon. Are we still mobilizing? Let's see. Innocent lost incident. Yeah, when you always lose your innocence, innocence you lose a part of you, I guess. Uh, it's nine percent, eight percent. We're still mobilizing, which is nice. So, can't really complain about that infantry stuff. I'll do it anyways. The Air Three Steam Rifle. Disappointed at how it looks in the real pictures, but whatever. And after that, we have monoplane attackers. We're just going to immediately grab some drop tanks. Five percent range isn't that much, but hey, I'll take it. Especially when you start running out of things to research. Hey, got a thousand power though. That's pretty nice. And we will be able to core a lot of stuff. So hopefully, eventually. All right, let's take a look. Do we make more divisions? What's going on down here? Do we make... Okay, then, yeah. All right, so that's the case. No more of these guys. And we'll make two of these from here on out. And there you go. And then, boom, 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 boom. Oh, oh, no. You, you lied to me. You didn't want to jump on here. Seriously, I can't... I can do this. What the heck? Right-click. Mm. Click. Left-click. Ah. I can't do that. Whatever. Oh, whoa, wait. Like angels. Exactly. Like angels. How do we fly? Very carefully and with a lot of steam and a lot of love for the Lord, he will bless us and we will fall like angels with wings and ready to rain hellfire on the enemy. A lot of preparations, though. Oh, we're making... Oh, yes. More military factories. Very, very good. Uh, let's go up to five here. We'll go up to five here. We're going to grab even... Oh, that's good to have a lot of this crowd control gear already immediately... Uh, special Pioneer Kiss. Nope. Intruders? During practice, one of our pilots reported seeing some sort of intruders near the steam. We immediately sent some men to look for anything suspicious, but they didn't find anything. The pilots were as they saw what appears to be either a robot or an armored person, but that's impossible because there aren't any private power armors here, and God forbid we have unholy robots in our land. It must have been an animal or something. Okay, so I gotta just say this. I think I said this in the last episode, too. We were playing as Heaven's Gate, and there's no way we would probably be using a lowercase g for God. Oh, I am so hurt on the inside. Oh, so hurt. Not really, but... At, for, at least for me, that's a little immersion-breaking. We, as the people trying to be as holy as all possible, use lowercase g for the Lord? Oh, no. And the Ordo Haltius. Hey, we have 1% war support. Oh, and irrigation. And obviously that focus has no description. C'est la vie. I'm not sure what else to say about it, but c'est la vie. Oh, boy. All right, so actually, let's come back over here. So support... Oh, we can go max out on support equipment. That's nice. Let's go ahead and grab... <clears throat> the Blessed Holy Frag Grenade. Oh, I love it. How do we fly? Our pilots are only receiving a basic training right now, but before we can change that, we first need a doctrine. How about a doctrine? How shall we go about this? Do we want faster training times or more of our men in the sky, or do we want ours to be the best to fly higher than anyone else? Closer to the Lord. There we go. We've got capital G there. Wider. Do we like our boys wide or we like our guys high? Ooh, even more air attack and agility. Ooh, well, I'm... Okay, so we went with the, the more aggressive Archangel path. So we don't want necessarily more men. We want better men or better things or better people or whatever. So we'll go with higher. It costs a little bit more, but we'll get more attack and more agility. But when we play as a Democratic route, please remind me. We need to get wider. Now, I don't want to get wider. I want to get higher, but going wider means that we can make more, so that's for the more democratic path that we'll go down eventually for the people. For the people, by the people, and sometimes corrupted for the people. I don't know, something like that. Uh, how, how many guns do we got? Not enough. 16 combo width? Not good enough. We don't even have any special forces on here. Uh, how much do we get? Complicated circuitry is pretty boring, I'd say. Radar. We have six research slots. I'm not going to complain. Oh, no wonder I can't put you on. I clicked on the wrong person. Now that's completely my fault. Completely. There you go. All right. Let's see what we got here. That was quite bueno, I would say. Anything else here? No. Um, what do we want? Yeah, CQC training. Why not? Now we can come back over here and maybe we'll raise our conscription level. Maybe... Alright, okay, so after this one, I think it's time for me to do Superbia et Luxuria. Arrogance and greed are the main problems with which corrupted our clergy. To face these problems, we need to find a solution which prevents them from getting too much power while ensuring their loyalty. We get one more political power. We 
get basically more consumer goods, and we lose a weekly war support, but so be it. We already have 5%. That's 5 enough percent. The, or the Halitus. Oh, look at that. The steam armies are a good beginning for our military, but every, every military force had some kind of elite troopers deployed in the hardest battles, bringing home the most important victories. After speaking with numerous soldiers and even some former members of the Brotherhoods, it was decided to form the Ordo Halitus. Thanks to the steam, we were able to make the most advanced power armor of the Wastelands, and we harness his power in form of heavily, heavily armored, well-trained crusaders of faith. These behemoths of combat are sure to turn around the tide of battle when it comes to it. Only the best are the best are allowed in this knightly order, and the heathens fall, shall fall upon their blazing glory. Amen. We get scientific power armor. We get the Ordo Halutus, which gives us less production costs, way less cell usage, hardness, armor, special forces, attack, defense, capacity, and minimum capacity. Holy crud. Crusaders of Faith? Okay, I gotta I'll switch this around. Amen. Beautiful, my friends. Beautiful. Actually, how much power armor do we have in uh, reserve? Yeah, I gotta raise the conscription level up, too. Uh, power armor? That's a little, less than, a little more than 260? That ain't too bad. That is not too bad. That's actually really cool. Uh, and we'll grab some Scorched Earth. That'd be nice. And after this one, we'll probably grab some Guerrilla Tactics. It's a little bit ahead of time. Actually, no. A straight shot. Uh-oh. While training with the Neo Crusaders, one of the men missed a target and hit the wall outside the steam generators. We now know how powerful these weapons are, but what's more interesting is the fact that we found some tunnels in and underneath the walls. We've never encountered tunnels like this before. Weird. Some old maintenance tunnels. We found tunnels earlier as well, apparently, but I'm not sure what we're really doing with them, but okay. Yeah. Yeah, actually, this would be a lot better if we could use transport helicopters or just gliders and literally drop on their victory points because taking out High Chapel can sometimes be a massive pain in the backside. Oof. Still not bad. Still pretty good, actually. Uh, military signing bonuses. We could probably use that eventually. I was a waste on looking. Like, okay, the troll one are dead. The military drink is looking pretty good. We've got some holy fragarino grenados. Training programs are pretty nice, too. Um, uh, the blessed, the blessed grenade, yes! We bless you with explosions! Bathe in explosive blood for me, for the Lord, for the Lord, yes. The Council. We finally rid the clergy of greed and arrogance, and it, with it, we have founded a new institution, the Council of Steam. Made up of the finest minds of our country, these men and women are absolutely loyal to our cause and will assist the Saint Michael in his rule. More political power, less stability, which is totally okay. And more war support, actually. Yeah, what do we currently have with that? Isaiah. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -dee -ba -da -ba -da. Children of the Lord. The Age of Steam. The Steam Armies. Oh, I love it. One prophet. Old World Raider systems, which will be removed eventually. Higher than the clouds. The Ordo Hytus. The Theocratic Elite. Ooh. And the Followers' Influence. Mm. I can't wait to go to war. I can't wage to wage, wait to wage some holy, holy crusade. Aegis Clay War in Eastport, that's good for them. Oh, we actually get more construction speed by doing this. Nice. Oh, we're almost at 1515. 1512 right now, but that's okay. Alright, St. Michael. Uh, cunning Leader. More max spend is not too bad. Nerd Rage. Gun Nut. Well, let's go with Gun Nut. And since you're here, we'll do that one too. And since we're here as well, and you're leading mostly infantry, let's grab some touches. Because we, just like the Lord, we like to touch others. We touch each other with the holiness that is the Lord. At least I hope it's the Lord touch. The Lordly touch. The godly touch. The godliness touch. Oof. Ah, uh, the council. And then we must do the Archangel. As a side effect of our reinforced prayers of St. Michael, there seems to be some newfound groups which refer to him as the Archangel. Maybe this is the way we should have chosen a long time ago, led by the Archangel himself, in which we will replace the one prophet with the Archangel will get more religious support. And then we get we lose the innocent loss incident with remember the innocent. We get even more population. We lose some encryption, but we get way more decryption, which is not a bad thing. And we strengthen our ruler support. I love it. Okay, one point eight six. That's not bad. I've had more before, but you know what? After what we've seen so far, I think that's okay. And you know what? We could invest in more civilian factories. I don't mind investing in some more infrastructure right now, just because. That'll help us build stuff up in the future as well. So, Ooh. With, uh, since we've already chosen the energy, I think it's probably appropriate that we go with Tesla Cannons. Yeah. I think that's pretty imp pretty impressive. I think that's pretty nice. Oh, look at that. Six more arm XP. How much guns do we have? Not enough. Not enough. 
The Lord demands we get more guns. Hey, still got enough, though. Infantry armor's looking really good, too. Oh, well, there goes the manpower again. Uh, yeah. Not bad. Not bad. How many more plans can we have? Oh, there you go. Train more. Do we have any other air bases? That's not ours. Not yet. And over here, do we have like a hundred more planes? No, we don't. Oh, that's not bueno. Now go up to 50 Arino and then have a good Otimo. There you go. Ah, uh, shift train. I love it. It's a little bit ahead of time for us. A little bit ahead of time. Let's grab some scrap checks. Who's he like? Scrap him. Okay, we definitely need to raise our conscription a little some more. Holy cow. He who rules. We have to ensure that St. Michael will be seen as our chosen leader. He is the only he's the one we've waited for for so long and will do anything in order to keep his rule stable. More autocracy, more war support, more stability. Thumbs up for me, man. Thumbs up. Yeah, we can really use more population. We can get up to eleven percent, which isn't bad, but I guess we can read the next one. The right hand of the Lord. St. Michael has proven himself to be the more capable to take on the whole council, and he has ruled and guided our country with an iron fist. We prepared under his rule, and we can now truly call him the right hand of God. Even more tech defense and more daily ruler support. What more could you want? Uh, air stuff. Specialized doctrines, probably. There we go. Not too bad. Ten days left, which is fine. Uh, engine advancements. That's a little bit too ahead of time for me. Scavengers found something great. Old World Raider System. Do it. Wait, don't we already have that one? Um. Yeah, we already had that one. Well, that sucks. So, so you can't duplicate it. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, remember the innocent. Okay, we get more encryption decryption. That's not too bad. That's interesting. So if you get the same one again, you basically don't get anything. Which kind of sucks, but that's pretty... That almost never happens, so... Alright. These are really a lot ahead of time. Wowzers. As some might say, wowzers and bowsers. Whoa. All right, let's have a martyr here, too. All right, we're godly people. That means we must make more babies. It's mandated that we each make 10 babies each. Well, actually, how do we do that? If, we each, if each individual person makes 10 babies, how does that work? Well, we'll figure it out. A new era. I kind of want to do that, but the rightful heirs of God. I want to go to war. I am. We got to spread the word, the word of God. Like, we've got to go. The God of the Gate has produced some formidable warriors in the past, with St. Michael in charge. It would be wise to have some kind of bodyguard for him, and the only best of these men shall serve in it. We get Sons of God, more special forces of attack, defense, and capacity multiplier. My goodness. You can't take the Lord's name in vain for this one. No, 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 not this campaign. Let's go and grab the frontline operative, because when we, when we attack, they will all speak of the fury that we attack with. Still exercising. We got five air XP. Oh, and we got five more army XP. Scrap Shack Arena was not bad. Uh, let's do this one too. Go surgery doctrine. Rebuilding the waste. Great, 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 great. Scorched earth, and we'll finish our land doctrine without even going to war at all with shock and awe arenas. Breakthrough tactics. I don't know anything about tactics at all. I just click on uh, colored buttons. That's all I do. We get more air superiority, less resistance, growth speed, more soft attack, heart attack. Sign me up. And let's grab some logistics too, because we actually might need that one later on. So. Beautiful, the right hand of the Lord. Uh, the rightful heirs of God, yes. Oh, look at that. Heaven's Gate. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Um, 100%. Oh, look at that. Go with 100% right there, that's fine. The rightful heirs. Let's see. The sinners of High Chapel, yes. High Chapel has broken away from us a long time ago, and they continue to be a thorn in our side. It's time to pull it out and teach them the true word of the Lord. I love it. Oh, there goes White Legs and New Canaan. New Canaan and Flames. I still got to play as New Canaan with the most decadent path. I heard that's nearly impossible, which kind of makes me not want to believe, or not believe it, but play it. Oh. All right, everyone, sorry about that, but apparently the game kept crashing, and I think it's crashed total three times. Uh, I'm not sure why it crashed repeatedly. It crashed on February 13th, February 26th, and February 25th? So we're past that now, and hopefully it doesn't crash again. Off screen, we got, uh, what was it, Secret Sauce, I think? So, Swiss Sauce, whatever it is. And we're doing this Sinners of High Chapel. High Chapel has broken away from us a long time ago, and they continue to be a thorn in our side. It's time to pull it out, which I think I read before as well. But I'm just a little worried about it crashing, just because 
It's happened before when I played as the TAA or Texas Arms Association. And because of that, I couldn't continue playing that campaign, which was incredibly disappointing. But it looks like it's working so far, for the love of the Lord. Please, bless the game so it doesn't crash. It wasn't even like an autosave crash either. It was just a hard crash for some reason. So, let's get through with the Sinners of High Chapel. It's time to call for a new crusade. That's not a bad idea. Ooh, more sports. Oh my goodness. Smithing of weapons, not bad. Those heathens, these heathens shall pay. I like that a lot. But, ooh, that's not bad either. Blood and Eden. I'm going to go down here so that we can always have more and more and more uh, war goals. So the 10th Crusade. After immediate antagonists have fallen, it is time to bring others into the fold as well. This calls for Crusade. Specifically, the 10th Crusade. And now let us take a look at these. You're done training for now. You, we don't need that anymore. So, fighters and casts. There you go, my boys. Let's come over there. And you do the same thing. Boom, boom, boom. And there you go. Alright, and... Hopefully we can do well. Oh, they're getting in defense of someone else. Doesn't matter to me. And hopefully we do okay. How many divisions do they have? Up to 23, which is, well, maybe not ideal for us, but whatever. Looks like we're doing well so far. Our guys are 20 combat width, which is not bad, but they're still infantry. And the power armor is only 10 combat width, so we got to remember that. And I did remember to do this. Caravan guards, pacification, pacify the area. They must know of the Lord's path. We should call it. Good. And please don't crash. Please don't crash. Uh, it's a bit too much for me right there. Let's invest into here. Oh, whoa. Maybe that's why it crashed. Because I was investing in civilian factories, maybe. Come on, guys. And how about good? I'll let you guys force the attack. Um, how many losses do we have so far? 13 versus 100. So, I'm mean, going to be better. Now, just going up to 600. Not bad. Anything else? Let's grab some refined mixtures, which we should probably actually use. How much support equipment do we have? 1500 not bad. Let's throw them on first as a first company that we're going to use. Cool. So, you know, let me know in the comments below. What type of companies should we use? I want to use chemical companies, but for our normal infantry, what should we use? Fire teams, demos, dogs, anti-tank, maybe power armor, recon, maintenance, or logistics. Let me know in the comments below. I'll leave it up to you guys for the next full slots for what we shall use in our divisions. Uh, we're not doing too bad around here. Obviously, it would be better if I was actually encircling soldiers, but hey, it is what it is. I'm kind of just mobbing them at this point, too. I was going to go with outsider auxiliaries just because we would we would gladly welcome other people to join us in this... In our mm, crusade, we'll call it. The Blood in Eden, though. All core lands is owned by us. Oh, oh we'll bypass it. We don't want to spill blood under the flowers growing in the gardens of Eden, but... We have to show them the strength we have. The strength God gave us so they will join us so willingly afterwards. Very good. What was that? Did I hear something? Oh. I'm going crazy. I probably am going crazy. But what else is new? I played Hoi 4 for like three years straight, so... When you do that, you end up going crazy. Yeah, maybe we should stop using our infantry nearly as much. We've lost 100 versus almost 1,000, so that's ah, not too bad, actually. If you guys keep these guys in place, that'd be good. Surround them. Get rid of them. You know the good stuff. And... Nice. 6 to 6. Not bad. Uh, of course, never enough damage, but, you know. Keep them in place. They're doing last stand here. Look at that. There's, oh, now they stopped doing last stand. Their strength is slowly going down more and more. I'm not sure why I did recon teams, but it is what it is. Platoon training, shall we? Very good. Let's go ahead and grab this too. We welcome outside, outside battalions, especially in the quest for a holy, holy war. Oh, I love it. Head on over, my boys. And you guys can stop attacking as soon as you're ready. Because it's up to the power armor to do the job now. Hopefully we've got some good experience, too. That's pretty important. We're running out of manpower. We lost 500 people. That's all right. We will get more than enough. For the Lord has blessed us with a lot of things. Oh, we can do a new era. We'll do that next time. Calling for a new crusade, though. St. Michael's won the hearts of the people with stirring speeches and wild promises. It is now time for him to rally our people once more. Very good. So they're attacking us. Let the power armor do the work of the Lord. While we're going to make him a little thicker, as the Lord intended... Oh, I never use demo teams anymore. Uh, their soft attack is 20. Their soft attack here is 10. 
Fire teams, it's 13. 6.5 breakthrough, 11.7. Uh, we could probably do that. I don't mind doing that, maybe. Throw on one of them. It does lower the organization, which I don't really like. Uh, 30 more HP. This gives you even more, though. Uh, I'm only going to use one of them. How about that? There you go. Anything else around here? Oh. Well, now you look really weak just because of how how many teams you're using, so. Uh, I really don't want to use infantry, but I, you know what? We're going to continue using infantry just because we have planes on them as well, and I want to get as much air damage done as possible to them, so. It is what it is. We're out of manpower. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. In time, the enemies will all suffer for their mistakes. For their transgressions. Very good, because we need vengeance. 100% need more vengeance. Uh, Redemptor Walker. Shock and awe. We're done with the land auction. It's a beautiful thing, my friends. And, eh, rapid prototyping, why not? We could probably use way more guns. Wowzers. There you go. Military factories? Yes, please. I don't think that these guys can keep it up. Tenth Crusade, they are out of manpower, just like we. But unfortunately for them... They're done. Let's get through one more focus before we call it an episode. Calling out for Nick's Crusade and cleanse the filth? I think so. We have to re-educate the citizens of High Chop after such a long time of separation. Their leaders, however, will not experience such mercy. They shall serve an example of the stupidity and they shall regret the disrespect they've shown God. But I hope you enjoy this episode nonetheless. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, check out my Discord link in the description below. And I'll see you tomorrow when we have another great heavenly episode as we shall... Purify the waste with the word of the Lord. Thanks for watching. Have a great heavenly rest of your day.